and welcome to another video episode of Citrix Micro Learning. This video will guide you on how to upgrade your Citrix ADC running in AHA or high availability using the GUI. Upgrading a Citrix ADC HA pair is as simple as upgrading your standalone ADC with a few minor differences. Okay, so let's get this upgrade going. First, a few things to consider when upgrading your HA setup. Number one, backup, backup, backup. Can't stress this enough. Always perform a backup before doing your upgrade. Second, check your available disk space to avoid running into storage issues. And lastly, always perform the upgrade during scheduled maintenance to avoid traffic disruption. Let's log into our Citrix ADC HA pair. This is the primary unit which I'm logging into. And what we're going to do first is check the current version that we're running. We do that by clicking on the upper right hand corner under NS root, click the drop down, and we'll see the version 13.047. Now, if you remember my first rule about doing upgrades, it's backup, that's right. Under the system menu, you'll find the backup and restore option. The backup process is actually very simple. All you have to do is give your file a name and decide whether you want to perform a basic level or full level backup. I will leave a link to the Citrix documentation, which goes into the backup level detail. Right now, I'm just going to perform a basic level backup. So now our backup is complete. Let's go back to system and system upgrade. And here we can check the system disk space, as well as download the firmware. Citrix has thought of all these little details and gives you a comprehensive and easy menu to do all of this stuff. So for now, what I'm going to do is click on download firmware and start the download from the Citrix downloads to website. So I'm going to go to firmware, select the Citrix ADC 13.0 build 67. Just going to scroll down a little bit. Always remember to read the release notes. There's some really good information there about the fixes, new features. I'm going to just click download. And with some video editing magic, I'm going to spit this up and get this file downloaded. Now, if you notice, I was downloading the firmware from the primary HA. For HA to work, both Citrix ADC must run the same software release, so we need to upgrade on both Citrix ADCs. But which one do we upgrade first, you might ask? And that is the secondary. So now we have downloaded the firmware, created our backup, and checked for available disk space. Let's move on to the secondary HA and perform the upgrade. Okay, so log in using our credentials. Here we get the confirmation that we're logging in to the secondary unit. And we're going to go to System, System Upgrade, and choose file since we already downloaded the firmware. I'm going to go to the local directory where I put it in my downloads, click Open. I want the reboot to happen automatically and then hit Upgrade. This essentially starts the upgrade process. And the first thing it's going to do is upload that firmware file onto the Citrix ADC. Next you'll see the system upgrade window where all the CLI commands running in the background and the upgrade process taking place. Once the upgrade is complete we can go back into the secondary and check for the version, confirm that is the correct one and essentially perform the same steps on the primary. But before we do that we need to perform an HA failover and essentially what this will do is flip them over. The secondary will become the primary and the primary will become the secondary. That'll allow us to work on the new secondary to perform the upgrade. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to System, High Availability, Notes. We select the secondary, go into Actions and perform the failover. Click on Yes to confirm and the failover is successful. Now we can move back to the new secondary ADC log in user our credentials, confirm that this is the new secondary with that pop-up that we get there, and go ahead and perform the same steps for the upgrade. So we'll go to System and System Upgrade. We don't need to download the file again because they are both going to be running the same firmware. I'm going to go to Local, use the same build, choose Reboot after successful installation, and hit Upgrade. 
So once the upgrade is completed, we can go back to the Citrix ADC, log in using our credentials, and making sure it's running on the same version and the HA status is successful. So there you have it, how to upgrade your HA pair using the GUI. Thank you for watching this episode of Citrix Mic Learning. See you in the next one. Thank you.